Dictionary Description. Hello, good afternoon. We're finally here. So sorry, we're late. I was just wrapping up things when our delivery guy showed up. Um, let's see. Make sure that we're on the right. We should be. There's one person. It's probably you. You haven't found me yet. I haven't found you. Okay. It usually takes a couple of actual minutes. Oh, here we here you are. Yeah. What do you have on? Okay. That's you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> How is everybody doing today? Um did you see uh, Carol and Gaddy walk the runway for George and Ginger at Fashion Week? No. Yeah, yeah. There was a whole bunch of people, and I, I saw her video yesterday, and um, I, I've never seen her with makeup on, and her her she had all this makeup on. Her hair was done really cool. She walked the runway. Her yeah, it was I bet really she cool. Was hot. She was super hot. She was. They had her hair like it was pulled back. But it almost looked like there was cornrows on the side here, but then not on the top. And then it had this really cool twist thing in the back. And they had the whole smoky eye thing going on with all the how runway mean. girls. Yeah. And she had on, in the, I don't know how many outfits she wore, but in the one uh, video that I saw, she had on a skirt, a white top, a really cool neckline, and then a skirt um, that was... I don't know what the fabric was that it was made out of, um, but I'm going to silence my phone because Kyle will probably call me. <laughs> um, but uh, it was the the skirt was really cool. It was kind of like a flowy A-line skirt, and it had a it was a, a white or ivory base, and then it had a um, almost like brush marked um, plaid. It oh, was cool. not you know solid, but it was really cool. I meant to ask her what that what that fabric was. It was really cool. Okay, so um, all right, we have some people on, so I'll quit talking <laughs> about nothing. Quit talking and start talking. Yeah, I'll quit talking and start talking. Okay, so today we have um, Zarina's Project Custom Prints. Um, they are sponsoring our giveaway today, and they're giving away a thirty dollars shop credit to one winner, which I think is very generous. And um, I'll be honest, I've never heard of her before, so I went on her site, and she has got the most adorable prints. They're real soft, whimsical, cute, pretty stuff. It makes me want to shrink my daughter back down into a toddler so <laughs> I can make her custom stuff. Um, but uh, go check it out. It's uh, Zarina. I think it's Zarinasproject.com. I have it on a graphic here in a minute. We'll have a reveal uh, booty winner. I don't know what you're going to win yet. Um, you might win some fabrics that haven't released yet, just for fun. We've never done that before. That would be um, really fun. We're going to have a mystery winner. Let's put it that way. Um, so a mystery winner will get in the mail surprise fabrics that have never been shown. <laughs> we'll do that. And we got new fabrics in today, so we could send a couple of those new ones mm -hmm. that we got. So that'll be fun. Um, so in order to participate or to win either the custom print uh, shop credit from Zarina's Project or the Reveal Booty, all you have to do is comment on this video. Uh, a comment is an entry, so you can comment as many, enter as many times as you like. Uh, we'll choose the winners uh, by 4 o'clock, so we'll close at 4 o'clock tomorrow, Thursday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. Yeah. And uh, we also have three slybys today. We've not had a slyby in, I don't even know how long, months, months and months and months. So today we're going to have three. And then we also um, are having, even though we don't have any new fabrics to reveal today, but we have our three slybys and then we have 10 accent hoodie bundles that we put together um, to show you. These are really fun. The concept is fun. And I forgot to upload a picture <laughs> of what that's all about. But I'll see if I can grab one while we're talking. So let's go first. Let's go check out Zarina. Um, this is just a little snapshot of some of her fabrics. I think these are all in retail right now. Um, of course, you know, she runs on pre-orders as well. Uh, but just a little smattering of the types of prints that she has. She definitely has her own style. Um, and she had some some boxes really cute did she? yeah boxes and what else did she have I think it was cats 
I just thought they were really pretty. So check them out. And don't forget to comment so you can win that $30 gift card. All right. Let's talk about our slide buys. I'm going to show you some coordinates. Now these are fabrics. I took them off the site the other day when we decided to make them slide buys. So you haven't seen them in a, maybe a couple days if you've been on perusing, but they were they were in stock. Explain what it is because there's new people. Oh yeah, yeah. Saying they they don't know what a slide buy. Yeah, is. a slide buy is fabrics that we um, discount. Either they're they're in stock fabrics that we discount or they're new fabrics you haven't seen before that we bought just to give away as a slide by. These are normally eight fifteen a yard, so we sell them for five dollars a yard as a slide by. It's limited to four yards per customer per print. So um, I'm, we have three prints. One customer can buy four yards of each print. We do that in order to allow more people to take advantage of the deal so we don't have people buying 10 and 20 yards of fabric. Um, it's while supplies last. So typically what happens is we kind of have to guesstimate what's on the rolls. So we'll put what we think we have in inventory in. Once that sells out, and this is really important, it'll be out of stock on the website, but once we cut it, we can reassess what we think we have left and add it back into um, to inventory. So even though it shows out of stock, is not necessarily out of stock until we tell you on the group page that it's completely out of stock. We have um, an app on our website that pops up once a fabric is completely out of stock and allows you to sign up for back in stock alerts. And you can do that and you'll be alerted when it goes back into stock. So and it can happen three or four times. It can happen three or four times. I know it's frustrating, but we never know what we're going to encounter with the rolls and we never know exactly how many yards are on them because there is a five to 15% over under from all of our suppliers. So when they measure it out and put it on the roll, they say it's 80 yards, but it could really be 65. We've yeah. you know, run into that, or it could be 95. And it never is. It never is. <laughs> it's never the over, it's always the under. <laughs> but that's life in the fabric world. So this is our first one. This is called um, Free Spirit. In olive, so you can see um, there's olive, white, and black. And that black to me looks navy, but it's not. It's yeah. actually black. I think it's just the olive that makes it look navy. So um, it's single brush poly. If you're not familiar with single brush poly, it's the same exact fabric base as double brush poly, um, only it's only brushed on the printed side. And then the non printed side, the wrong side, is smooth. It's like real silky. Um, cause I think these bases are DTYs. So this little beauty goes with ivory, brightens it up. Um, of course the jet black and light olive. Now light olive is not an exact match to this olive, but it coordinates very nicely and looks really pretty with it. it brings out the olive. So that's our first one. And um, to make it easy, you will find uh, on the website when we make these live after the reveal, there is a, um, a button in the ribbon that says slide by. If you click on that, all three slide bys will be right there. This one is called Boho Paisley Vertical. <laughs> I wasn't feeling very creative that day. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Oh, and they have, um, you know, the stretch percentages will be on the listing. They're four-way stretch, uh, but I can't say that they're equally four-way stretch. But the, the vertical and horizontal stretch percentages are on all of the, the listings for the fabrics. This one goes with chambray. Where's my, here it is. There's blue in here and that chambray. This, oh, yeah, yeah it really matches perfectly out. and jet black. Now the the light color that you see in here, it's not white and it's not ivory. It's a cream. Almost has a it's it's almost on really, the really yellow side of cream. A tiny yellow that I can't it. call it yellow. It's just cream. So there it is up close. Isn't that pretty? And that's also a single brush. They're all single brush. I'm being nice today, handing the fabric to Mary Beth very nicely. 
and this is our last flyby. This is uh, Smitten in Gold. We've had this in a couple different colorways, um, ivory, olive, and this one's in gold. I particularly love this one because I love the black, um, the black and white grayish on there. I think that's really unique, unique and pretty. Also uh, single brushed. And single brush, by the way, if you've never used it, is um, really nice in warm weather because it doesn't, it's not brushed on that side against your skin, so it kind of doesn't stick to you. Um, I have a couple, I think I have a couple tank tops in it. I like to wear it in the warm weather, and I even wear it when I go down to Florida. Um, and it's pretty comfortable. I don't wear it in long sleeves down in Florida. <laughs> that would be crazy. Okay, the ivory goes really nicely with it because that is ivory in there. And black, of course. And charcoal. I really like charcoal with it. Mm -hmm. um, cinnamon. Goes with these pretty red flowers over here. And where's my sage? And sage. Sage is also single brushed. It looks really nice with the leaves. Okay, that's our slide by. So tell them if they can't decide which one they want, buy all. Yeah, did you hear Mary Beth? If you can't decide which one, buy all three. <laughs> okay, what, what do we have going on now? Let me pull my other graphic up. All right, our bundles. Let me go, I'm gonna go grab a picture of one of the bundles. Just remember where I put them. Oh, here. I'll, I'll actually put up Beth's picture. That's a, probably a better one to do. Okay, so this is Beth's hoodie that we all went crazy over. I'm just going to move it over here for a minute. Um, and she... So Sarah gave her... Bear with me for a second. Sarah gave her instructions on how to add this faux piping to her raglan around the arms. And um, she made this hoodie that was so cute. So she's got, you can't see it in the picture, but the hoodie itself is lined in the uh, navy with the dots. And then she's got the uh, cuffs with the navy and dots. And then the uh, faux piping around the raglan sleeves. Um, so we thought... That's really cute. Hey, I can't remember who it was. Was it you, Mom, came up with the idea? Oh, probably. <laughs> I'm just like that. So we'll say Mary Beth came up with the idea to give you guys, um, offer up bundles um, where we pick out coordinates to go uh, for the piping and the hood uh, lining and the, and the cuffs um, that we thought would be really cute. So we came up with 10. So it was me, Mary Beth, and, and Betsy that works here in the shop came up with 10 options. And what makes this even more fun is that um, they're kind of a deal, like kind of a big deal. They're kind of a deal. So you get, here, hand me that one. We'll do this one first. So this is the um, Black French Terry and Camo Double Brush Poly. So you get two yards of Black Baby French Terry and then at regular price, and then we throw in a 5 eighths yard cut of the Double Brush Poly Camo for free. So Mary Beth measured it out. It's enough to cover um, your piping, your faux piping, your hoodie lining, and your cuffs. And tell them, even if they do a crossover hood, because that, yeah. that was really low. Yeah, even if you do a crossover hood. So she took the, the add-on pack from the P4P, um, was it the Raglan add-on yeah. pack? And she took that biggest crossover hood and laid it down and measured it all out. And it's enough. It's enough for that. So also on the listings for each of the bundles is um, the instructions on how to do the piping. Uh, Sarah typed out really great instructions. So um, it's pretty, it's really easy, and it's really just cute. And tell them it can be done on any raglan yeah. top. It doesn't have to be a specific one. Somebody was asking what. It can be done on any raglan top. 
So you'll get so two yards of French terry and five eighths of a yard of brush poly for free, no charge, because we like you. <laughs> so that's the first one, and we did a little thing on the website. There's you'll see a picture, and and we made a little um, kind of inset showing how the what the piping would look like. So you don't have to try and imagine it, but you do a little bit, <laughs> but not as much as you think. Here. <laughs> That was okay. fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Our second one is, um, or next one, is the sage, um, heather sage, which is a really nice bright green, and the vertical uh, green stripes, which are very cute together. If you don't, I know maybe some people don't want to wear big long vertical stripes as their main fabric, but as an accent, it's pretty adorable. So that's and your great second one. Piping too on that yeah, one. the piping picture turned out really cool. Oops. And we kind of we tried to do a mix of um, kind of ma masculine and feminine. Not that they're you know have to be used that way, but we wanted to come up with um, some different stuff that you could use uh, for um, boys if you're sewing up for boys too. All right, so this is uh, two yards of magenta. Baby French Terry and five eighths of a yard of Royal um, in magenta. Royal in, in magenta. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's right. Um, and uh, the piping on this one turned out pretty cool mm -hmm. too. So, and those are perfect match. I was going to make one of those last night, but I was too tired. I was going to wear it to the reveal today, but I'm all tired. Mm. Okay, this is um, this is exactly what Beth used for her hoodie. It's the navy baby French terry, with five eighths of a yard of the navy and ivory um, small polka dots. Ooh, I like that with my jeans. Yeah, that looks that's cute. what Beth came into the, when she was in the office last week, and she helped on the she filled in for Mary Beth on the reveal. She was wearing that hoodie. Well, she had it off because she was hot, <laughs> <laughs> but she she did kind of show it and. She had a neighbor that loved it so much she made her one. But I think she made a different raglan. Pattern. Yeah, she made the instead. Yeah, she did. She made the uh, the the relaxed fit raglan. Right. Yeah. From, this from, is Heather Royal Blue, um, baby French Terry, and this is the um, chambray stripes, and the piping shows the stripes going this way because you can do that. You can turn your fabric and for the piping. Cute. Very cute. This is Mary Beth's pick. She loves this one. <laughs> it's a lavender, Heather Lavender, baby French Terry. And we had a couple yards left of the lavender and ivory polka dots. And um, the camera doesn't like the two of these together at our time with my camera too. But in person, they look fabulous. I'm just saying. They're fabulous. And this one, this is a little surprise for Sarah. <laughs> she had this combination on. Did you see her picture the other no. day? No. She had on, um, I think it was a P for P, the, their zip up hoodie. I can't remember the name of it. This is uh, Heather Taupe, Baby French Terry. And then she had on um, a t shirt under it made out of this. Oh. Ah. Uh, so this is the um, camo that's vintage blue and, um, and olive. And uh, that piping turned out pretty cool, too. So those go together very nicely. Okay, this is, these are Sky's school colors. Mustard, mottled French terry, baby French terry. This is the rayon baby French terry, so it's super soft. I want to make something out of it, but I don't think it's my color. <laughs> and um, this the black and gold plaid. And with the plaid, when you do your piping, you want to kind of plan it out. Look at it different ways to see what you like the most. Because when I was playing around with it to do the the pictures, at first I had it kind of like where you would see this as the piping. And then I made it so um, oh, yeah, that, was... that was the piping and that looked really cool. So you've got some options there. And there should be plenty to do that, to mess around with it. Mary Beth says you should have plenty to mess around with. Okay, and then we did a couple um, with sweater knits. We 
because we can. So the spun honey, you get two, or spun honey, spun sugar sweater knit, you get two yards of this. And then, oh, surprise, it is perfect with the olive stripes. They're beautiful together. Uh, so you get five eighths a yard of this. And I, I love the way that um, that piping picture came out too. That was a lot of fun. Last but not least. Last but not least. Um, this is, what did I name this? I renamed this fabric recently. Something honey. Something honey something. spiced bouquet. Spiced honey. Spiced honey bouquet. Because the flowers are, um, I don't know, orangish. Orangish? Reddish? No. Orangish and yellowish. Anyways. Um, so two yards of this. It's a light sweater knit. So is the um, spun sugar, by the way. They're both lighter sweater knits. So you could wear them in the spring. Um, and the black and ivory small polka dots. Super cute together. <laughs> so those 10 bundles will be up. And like I said, the 5 8 um, cut is uh, no charge. And the instructions are on the website. And if they don't want to use it for that, they'll have this yeah. for something else. Oh yeah, you don't, you know, you don't have to make that. It's just a suggestion. Um, you can always use that that fabric for something else. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, I did not make a graphic for it, but you'll see an email coming up. If you're not signed up for our emails, go to our website and sign up. You'll also get a coupon. You should get a little pop-up to give you a first-time coupon if you haven't bought from us before. Um, but we have a President's Day sale coming up on um, Saturday and Sunday. So you'll see some information on that. Uh, that email will go out. It'll probably go out in today's email. And oh, don't forget, we have $6.99 flat rate shipping for all U.S. orders um, in the U.S. plus Hawaii and Alaska. I know they're in the U.S., but they're not continental <laughs> uh, territories and APOs as well. Um, $6.99, no, uh, any size package, priority, or UPS ground. You look like you had something to say. No, I totally forgot the, <laughs> look at the comments. I was just listening to you. Like I'm supposed to be helping you. Mary Beth's supposed to be helping me, and she's well, she's folding the fabric. So, oh, I just wanted to tell you, this is um, what I'm wearing. Uh, this is Ponty, by the way. I think it's one of our new heavy Ponties. We've got a bunch of Ponties coming up, and we have some fun Ponties. You don't hear that very often. <laughs> fun Ponties. We have some solids, but we also have um, this one. It's like a flecked, or as Sarah calls it, ash Ponty. It's a heavy weight. It's super soft and comfortable. So I made a sweatshirt out of it. And I wear it constantly. Like every day? Like every day. So, you know, you just roll the cat hair off of it. And uh, this is the um, Peekaboo Adult. I know it looks really sloppy and from this angle, but it looks better from another angle. Anyways, that's the um, Peekaboo Adult Classic hoodie. And it's free. And it's unisex. And I love it. I've made like three or four of them. Really they, they go together super fast. And... When I say that, it means screaming fast because I'm not fast. Um, but this is coming up next week. And it has a friend that is um, navy melange. So it's also got the, the black. Hard to see, though, because it's navy. It's a dark navy. And then we have some other fun ones. And some more solid scuba. Or, not, yeah, techno scuba. And then more ponty and and the following week, plus more prints. And um, the pre-orders, half the pre, half the fabric for the pre-order came in today. Mm -hmm. We saw we're waiting on the other half of the fabric. So um, we're still on track though to ship those out end of the last week of February. Okay. Anything else? I got nothing. Got nothing? Okay. Thanks for joining us. Sorry for being late. Uh, we'll make sure we'll try and be on time next week. We'll probably get fabric. <laughs> we'll probably get fabric <laughs> again. Hopefully the other half of that pre-order. Yeah. That'd be nice. 
Okay, so thanks for joining us. And um, as soon as I go off here, I'll go in and make those flybys live and the bundles live. And um, you can you can see them on the website. And I'll post in the group um, links to them as well. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye.